Hi, this is what I'm doing. Haven't done a nail tutorial in a while. Sorry about that. Just haven't been really inspired or motivated, but I'm going to try to get back into it. So what I've already done is paint one coat of this clean color nail polish. This one is neon pink. The main thing I'm using for the designs is this thin stripped polish. This is another clean color, but honestly the brand when it comes to this doesn't matter as long as it's black. So I've already done the thumb here and this one because it's going to be repeated on the pinky and the ring finger. So I'm going to start with the middle finger here. This is the one with the stone. So I'm taking my thin strip polish and then just going to make two thick bars. One kind of towards the bottom of the nail and then one towards the top. And then from there, I'm going to make two really thin strips of black on top. And then on the bottom. Another polish that I'm going to be using frequently for this is a China Glaze polish, super glittery polish. This one's called Techno. I'm going to take that and sort of glob it in the middle over the pink and then I'm just gonna place my stone right on top in the middle I got these hearts this is a little wheel of different colored hearts I got this from the International Salon and Spa Expo our I call it ISSE, ISSE, ICE, whatever um, it comes once a year to Long Beach in California. I know it goes to other places in the country, um, but I always make an effort to go so I can get cute little stuff like this for reasonable prices. Now for this design, again with the thin strip polish. And then quickly before the glitter polish in the middle dries, I'm going to add these little flakes of, yeah, however you describe that, little flakes of glitter. It's kind of awesome. And then lastly for the pinky finger, again with the black thin strip polish, just going to make one big black bar down the middle. And then taking these little square shaped rhinestones that I also got from the International Salon and Spa Expo, I'm just going to lay them down on the black bar. So that's it. I do apologize for the sloppiness of this. I usually am a little bit more on point with the opposite hand, but seeing it, I realize I wanted to do something different or better. So here, pay attention to this one. I really like this nail. It looks pretty nice on a longer nail. My pinky finger is shorter, so it still looks very blingy. A little time consuming but not super complex as far as the details and design goes. Just have a steady hand, be patient. Okay, hope this helped. Thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye!